impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! No! So, <laughs> I used Ether. I could have used Litecoin. Uh, pretty much anything right now would have sufficed. Let me show you what I mean. Woo. Ethereum has hit its new, brand spanking new all-time high of 600 over 600. Yes, you heard that right. Bitcoin Cash up 10%, Litecoin up a cool 82% today. It's number four now. It's beaten out IOTA and Ripple. Wow. <laughs> Never a dull day. Bitcoin Gold is barely hanging on now to top 10. Why is this happening? I'll give you my thoughts. You can agree or you can disagree. Bitcoin dominance right now, check it out. 59.1%. It was around 62% yesterday. That 1, 2% is a massive amount of money because of this. That market cap is massive. 1, 2% of that is a big, big deal. It can cause stuff like this. It can cause stuff like this. And as I was mentioning in Friday's video, a lot of these top 10 coins were pretty cheap Bitcoin wise. Yes, USD isn't the best measure, but it's an effective measure. But for Bitcoin holders, this was at one of its all time lows. Ethereum shows somewhat of the same story. We haven't, like, I, I can't remember a time where it's been this severe, where the top 10 are the ones pumping like crazy. Pumping like crazy. And it's the altcoins. Fiat valuations kind of stable, maybe dropping a little bit, but in Bitcoin terms, getting absolutely wrecked. Absolutely. Ultimately, I think this isn't going to last and that we are going to continue to see a lot of pumps for things which don't have the best of projects, but are kind of okay. So FOMO, I can definitely expect if Bitcoin continues to stay stable, slow down a little bit, then some of the gains that people have gotten from the top 10 will then go into the top 50 or the top 100 coins trying to accumulate more Bitcoin on the most part. Check this out though, Litecoin. Look at GDAX, $385 on GDAX. Mm -hmm. Let me go get my phone. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. It's cool. It is cool. It is really cool. Vitalik, the little pumper. Did he pump OMG? He said, his favorite token model is OMG. Didn't say it was his favorite crypto. What did that do for the market? Pretty cool. Five to 10%. Not bad. Remember, this is a man that could literally be paid millions any day of the week to promote anything. And for the most part, he chooses not to. The evolution of this meme was very quick. It went from, oh no, you didn't to, well done, grandpa, you sly old devil. Ripple is pumping. You could say because it's a top 10 coin and why not as a flavor of the month. However, there was pretty big news. 37 banks announced that they will begin testing Ripple's XRP currency. Okay, there's there's a lot of banks involved. This is interesting. This coin gets tons of hate and neglect here for ideological reasons, but no one can deny the potential here. This one is going to be big. I agree with that for the most part. However, one thing that I do think of when I think of Ripple is when you factor in all of the total future supply by the current price, it is not a cheap coin. I think a lot of people look at it, they think 20, 25 cents, 30 cents, wow. What if it goes up to hundreds, thousands? It's so cheap, it's not. I think it's really expensive. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not going to do better, that it's not gonna go up from here. It will, this is not financial advice. It will, just like every other crypto <laughs> in the top 10. Look at the top gainers today. There is the number four crypto, and there is the number two crypto. I've never, I don't think so. I can't really remember seeing that. Uh, maybe recently, but before that, certainly had never seen it before. Aeon, 70%. Ardor, 57 Railblocks, 50%. This one is being shilled as the cheaper alternative to IOTA. I'm not sure if it can really make that comparison, but there you go. That does have some similarities. Bancor, Tron, Vertasium is back. <laughs> this one was bleeding forever. Still kind of is Bitcoin wise. That good old Fiat though, doing pretty well. Korea institutes some regulation. They will regulate Bitcoin exchanges, but not ban them. There will be requirements for know your customer and anti-money laundering stuff. While people might not like the sound of regulation when it comes to these decentralized cryptocurrency freedom movements, regulation certainly sounds better than ban, outright ban. So at least we can trust the Koreans for now. A final thought, mentioned this before, blockchain's big year. There are a lot of jobs hiring blockchain 
developers. I think being a blockchain developer right now is like, oh, oh, what kind of comparison can I make? Like being an automobile maker in the 1940s or something, 50s. Hmm. I don't know. No, I'm not too great with history. Anyway, pretty hot. There are so many companies right now that are starting. I feel like we can expect ICOs in 2018 to punch a lot harder than we've seen so far. Use cases, really world-changing use cases. That'd be nice. I might be dreaming, but that'd be nice. Norway is also nice. Very nice. I'm not sure how to end this video, so I'm just going to do it really abruptly.